Hello once again, it's Rick Smith for Trinity United Methodist Church in Prince Frederick, Maryland, and this is the Daily Prayer for Monday, November 28th, in the year of our Lord, 2022, and uh, sitting here looking uh, at the camera it shows my own reflection back to me, making me realize, boy, do I need a haircut. Anyways, beyond that, today I thought I would bring up uh, a, from the book of Ephesians, the third chapter and the twelfth verse. And it's short and sweet and to the point, and, uh, but has a very good comforting me uh, message for you. Uh, and it's a way of us giving thanks, even though Thanksgiving was this past week. It, again, gives us a way and reason to continually give thanksgiving to our Father in heaven. So again, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12. And it says, In him and through faith in him. We may approach God with freedom and confidence. Translation, it doesn't matter where you are, who you are, what time of the day or night it is. You can approach God at any of those times or moments or places. And he is there with you, listening to your word, listening to your prayer. People ask me, well, did you look at your email I sent you last night? I can promise you I very unlikely did, simply because I'm a person who works in front of a computer all day long, at least a good 10 hours every day, sometimes longer. So when I get home from work, I have no desire to sit down in front of a computer again to look at emails. But I have a three-block walk in Baltimore to go from the hospital where I work to the parking garage where I have to park. And that's when I, the one time of the day I usually do glance at my personal emails. It gives me something to do along that walk. And uh, often I will see whether it's from Trinity United Methodist Church or from the previous church I was at uh, there in Odenton, Maryland of Nichols Bethel United Methodist Church or just some friends saying, hey, need some prayers. And when I come to those emails on that journey, I do take the time to pray as I'm walking towards the parking garage. And so I'll pray, Father in heaven, this person needs help. Or Father, this person is giving you praise. And we want to thank you for this. And all the glory is yours. And so forth. So it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. It doesn't matter where you're at, when you're doing it. It could be noisy, city streets. It could be in the quiet of your own bedroom, uh, anywhere, and God's there listening to you. Let's pray about this. Father in heaven, we thank you for always, always being there for us, listening to our prayers, waiting for our prayers, and receiving them with all the attention you give us. And we thank you and praise your holy name for this. This is very comforting to us. And we want to give you the glory and honor for this very simple fact that you're always there for us. This we pray in your most holy name. Amen. So it doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing. <laughs> If you want to be in a noisy place, 
There's a famous saying amongst any soldiers or veterans. There is no atheist in a foxhole. A foxhole is a place you dig out and hide yourself in best you can to give yourself some shelter while battles ensuing and going on. And quickly, people who have never prayed a day in their life are suddenly praying. There's no atheist in a foxhole. So this is Rick Smith again for Trinity United Methodist Church in Prince Frederick, Maryland. And we want to thank you for listening to these daily prayers. And we ask you keep doing so. And remember, as our good leader, Reverend Jim says, wherever you walk, Jesus walks with you.